Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1247. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1247 to 1248 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1246, we talked about counting with case sensitive criteria. Hey, we were counting, and in this video, 1247, we want to see how to add. Now we're going to use the same basic trick, but we'll add an extra column that will take numbers and then add them. Now what we did back in 1246 is we used the exact function, because the exact function can take two texts and match them, and it's case sensitive. So I'm going to say, hey, find the capital Mr. Excel, not the little Mr. Excel, comma within, well, wait a second, text 2. If I put this whole range of values in, that's six values. That means we're telling exact function to spit out six answers. That's a function argument array operation. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key, close parentheses, and then F9 to evaluate it. And sure enough, True, true in the first and fourth position. It found only the capital Mr. Excel. Control Z. Now we need to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. So we do double negative. That's a math operation that when I F9 to evaluate, sure enough, it converts true to one and zero to false. Now, that's a resultant array the result of an array operation. And if I take this array and multiply it by this array, 1 times that number will give me that number. 0 times that number will give me 0. Control Z. So now I use sum product. And unlike the last video where we only used a single array, that's the formula for counting. Now in array 1, I'm going to highlight and use the F4 key to lock it. That's array 1, comma, and array 2, array 1, array 2. Now, sum, product can do its thing. Product means it will take array 1, all the numbers, array 2, 1s and zeros, multiply them. That's the product part. And the sum part will add. So when I close parentheses, Control-Enter, double-click and send it down, boom, we have adding with case-sensitive criteria. Now I'm going to come to the end and F2. I'm checking all the cell references. It's looking good. Now I want to come up here and go to Formulas. And I'd like to evaluate Formula. The keyboard is Alt-M-V. But check this out. This dialog box does not always work like we'd like it. If I click Evaluate or Enter, notice it is going to evaluate exact, so I hit Enter. But then that whole long line is going to take like four steps and evaluate them all at once. So when I hit Enter, it gives me the answer. I want to see it more specifically, F2. So I can each one of the pieces, F9. And then I'm going to click on Array 1, F9. Now I can clearly see two arrays with the exact same dimension, one column, six rows, multiplies each one of those times each one of those. That's the product, and then adds. Now check this out. I just did F9 once and twice. If I Control Z, if I Control Z again, oh, I'm only allowed one Control Z when I'm in edit mode. Now, luckily, I had this formula already in the cell. So now I'm going to hit Escape to revert back to whatever was in the cell before I put it in edit mode, Escape. All right, next video, we'll see how to do case sensitive contain criteria. All right, we'll see you next video.